Hello and welcome back to... Yeah. 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 If I sound a bit croaky today, it's because I'm actually ill, and the medicine to deal with that makes me really, really sleepy. Yeah. But so, it's gonna lucky make... you guys, yeah. I'm in charge of this pain train. Oh, damn. <laughs> no! No, 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 no! It's your turn to make that mistake! Damn it! Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I have that. Uh, can we... Can we... <laughs> Delete that? No, I'm leaving everything in. Oh, why are you in charge of editing? I might just. I could put this up on its own, just under blackmail.mov. Damn it! <laughs> just. Okay. Can I. Yes. Okay. Load game. Load. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Please, no. We've lost it. We lost oh, it. Momentum, please, no. Lost it. Yeah, we are. Uh, we, uh, we got a bit stuck, so we're gonna go back to basics. I guess, and just do the rounds again. Uh, well, what do we? We need a pipe, don't we? We need a pipe. I think it's very, very safe to assume we do not have the pipe. Yeah, it's, we could hollow out that. No, I think it's we're being too kind of we're thinking too hard. We genuinely just need a pipe. Okay, let's um, let's think about this logically. There's got to be a pipe somewhere we've not found. Is the pipe on the train or is it out in the forest? Uh, yeah, it's... I think we searched the train pretty meticulously. We've gone back and forth over this thing enough, so... Did we... we searched the forest so much, though, it's really annoying to think we missed something. But we are idiots. So, you know, <laughs> let's go back to the forest! I can't argue with that logic. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know the forest pretty well now, we've been through it enough times, so... You know, we could turn this into a 70-part Let's Play if we just ramble enough. <laughs> No, not again. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> I don't want to do that to people. Oh, it's taking ages to get through this train. My double clicking is not up to form. I wonder how much people actually, like, watch at the sections where we're just walking around, or if they just leave our voices on in the background. We should just, like, give bookmarks in, like, the description to things where stuff happens. <laughs> that might be a good idea, actually. Where? Oh, hold on. Remember we have to climb out uh, Ratchet's window. Yeah, where's Ratchet? There's Ratchet. Oh, I've got his face again. I don't want to look at the face. There. Oh, it's just distressing. It's grim. Okay. <laughs> the snow's falling at an angle based on this perspective. Yeah. Totally necessary cutscene. For drama. <laughs> Alright. Thinking caps on. Yep. <laughs> ah, lovely. Okay, let's let's think this out. I don't think it's there's nothing like here actually on the train unless we took a pipe from like a carriage and then put it up the top. That doesn't make any sense. No, nothing like that. So I think it was just in the woods. I've only got round to paying off the last video um, on the day we're actually recording this. So yeah, we're not going to receive any helps from the comments on this one. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. Okay. No, the snow. It is. <sighs> I hate you, Poirot. Damn it, psychic Poirot. You're I shouldn't hate head. you because you're fictional, but I do. It's okay, Agatha Christie hates him, so you should too. Not Agatha even Christ. your mum loves Agatha, you. Agatha Christie never wrote anything questionable. Yeah. Uh, okay, that is a wall. There is no <laughs> pipe there. There's a spigot over here. This looks like a dead And it's a dead end. Let us ask ourselves a basic question. For every screen we come on, is there a pipe on this screen? There is not a pipe on this screen. Is there a pipe on this screen? There is not a pipe on this screen. <laughs> is... <ugh>. No. No. <laughs> no. No. Like... The tree. No. Wait, if we hollow out the tree... <laughs> we can't use a wooden pipe. Does the hole in the ceiling count as a pipe? Could we hollow out one of its horns? <laughs> Get the gun. Get the gun. <laughs> There's the gun. There's the gun. How many bullets do we have? Does nothing strike you as odd? About at least two, based upon like the fact we shot the wolves. Uh, there are wood. The... Wood. These are bars, but they're not pipes. Is there a pipe on this screen? Nothing of interest here. She Thank says you. no. <laughs> this is a pipe. You could like wrench that or something, but it's not really wide enough. It's probably hollow. But. That's wood, that's wood, that's a door. 
That's wood. There is a pipe on this screen. I guess it. I can't loosen the. Uh, oh bloody hell! Uh, uh, no drinking. No. Drinking. No. Ah, uh, no. How did we? Ha I so we were focusing on the stove and basically didn't even think to go up here. <laughs> My God. For, uh, I don't know how many times have we been in here? Four or five times? E at least. <sighs> there was a proper time for this, apparently. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Alright, um. Oh, my Hold on. Nope. Uh, wrench? This is infuriating. Uh. Well, <laughs> at least this. What? Oh, it's, it's fixed into the ceiling. I love how she did that in just one move. Yeah. It's, there's something to be said for going away from a problem and coming back to it, isn't there? But it really, really is. That is just infuriating. The hell? Hey, look, we've got a pipe. We have a pipe. And <laughs> Why does it make the clonk noise every time we interact with it? I don't know. Ah, the snow. <sighs> Don't test me right now, Poirot. I'm in a vengeful mood. Where's my shoes? God damn it. They keep changing spot in my invisible backpack. Uh, this is really, really bad. Alright, speed run back to the back. Just, just re return. We're probably not going to need to do anything else, are we? It'll just slip on, won't it? Yeah. It's had its fun. It's done tormenting us. Now it's just content in the fact that we're idiots. Okay, here we go. There. This is not at all satisfying. Not in the slightest. Wonderful. That should hold. At least until we are rescued. Not a bad job, if I do say so myself. Oh, thank goodness this stovepipe was larger than the train pipe. Else it might not have worked. The train just looks really bored. It's just like Still cold. Maybe I'm just projecting onto it. The heat is now restored. Now on to the matter of murder. Oh yeah, there was a murder. Maybe we should do something about that. Yes, maybe. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. You! You're suspicious. Let's just question random people until they admit. Oh, cool. Please give me the key to the Athens Paris coach. Here is mine. Keep it as long as you like. Wow, security's great. Where is the key to the security room in the baggage car? Mademoiselle, that key is kept only by the station master. Good day, monsieur. Okay, so that's how we get into that. There's no station master out here, though. I, I love how you couldn't... button from your tunic in the American lady's compartment. I have lost no button, mademoiselle. There must be some mistake. Then perhaps it was dropped by the man she said was in her room. There was no one there. The lady must have imagined it. I need to ask you some questions about Monsieur Ratchet's death. But of course, Mademoiselle Marceau. I will do anything I can to help. Oh no, I just put it together. We're going to have to do this for everyone on the train. Because they wouldn't talk to us while they were cold. Because, obviously. Yes. <sighs> so... Okay, right. When Let's get us out of the way. Discovered? The valet of Monsieur Rachet, uh, he tapped several times at the door this morning. There was no answer. Then, half an hour ago, Lucien, the waiter, came. He wanted to know if Monsieur was taking déjeuner. It was 11 o'clock, you comprehend. Continue. I opened the door for him with my pass key. But there is a chain, too, and that is fastened. There is no answer, and it is very still in there, and so cold. The window open, I borrow the engineer's hammer, and break the chain, and go in. Monsieur Rachette was... Uh, oh, it was terrible. The chain was fastened. It must have been suicide. I'm sorry, Michelle. A person does not commit suicide by stabbing himself twelve times. No. I suppose not. So, are we, like, really ahead of, like, these characters? Apparently, which is refreshing, because this guy appears to have been several steps ahead of us the whole time. Yeah. 
and that he's just been calling us out on our really, really bizarre behaviour. Are we seriously only just questioning people about this murder? Yeah. Did we seriously just get sidetracked that much by a broken pipe? Yes. Uh, How many videos was that? At least four. Yeah, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Did anyone call for you last night after we spoke? Yes, I made up the bed of the young American gentleman, Mr. Rachet's secretary. At what time? It must have been uh, about a half hour later. 1.45. About that, yes. The English colonel from uh, number 15 was with him. The colonel went back to his own compartment as I prepared the American gentleman's bed. You see, I'm so out of the loop because I've just completely forgotten everything. Okay, um, I'll refresh your memory for you. So, basically, um, what? Mr. Ratchet, like, at one point, like, buzzed or whatever, and then someone went to his carriage, but then a voice from inside said, no, everything's fine, go away. Um, there was also a bit where I think the American woman got very annoyed because she claimed there was a man in her compartment. Yeah. When there couldn't have been a man there. And finally, apparently um, we saw a woman, or at least someone, in a kimono walking down the corridor. Okay. Don't so know if it all happened in that order, but those are the events which happened. So maybe the man in her room was like the guy went in the wrong window because he's an idiot. <laughs> and there maybe Ratchet said nothing was wrong because someone was holding a knife to his neck. But he had a map saying, like, kill me. I him. know. <laughs> but he didn't take it with him. Mm, good point, actually. Did you see anyone moving about last night after we spoke? The English colonel returned to his compartment. Uh, no one after that. Where did the English colonel go, then? Did you leave the car at any time last night after Belgrade? Well, uh, I did go back to talk to Matteo, uh, the attendant in the Athens Paris car. When was that? Not long after one. How long were you gone? A few minutes only. One of my bells rang. Uh, you remember, it was the American lady. She had rung several times. This will mean so much trouble for the Express. Interesting. Can't argue with that. Actually, no, that wasn't interesting. Moving on. <laughs> I do want trouble for the Express. <laughs> we are undercover operatives for rival train company. Uh... First Great Western. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing out in the east? Expanding. Serious hard man. Don't tell me we can research these rooms. I oh, know we found mm. all the stuff. Oh, we've already I been. Won't find. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go find people then. I'd say we've been pretty thorough. Hmm. Just gotta talk to people. Uh, let's go see Poirot. 